Mario's first RPG yes. Returns. I'll be playing this. I already have it pre ordered. The Super Mario RPG game is back with updated graphics. Let's go over some new and returning Sweet. gameplay features. Time your new features with action commands to increase damage dealt or decrease damage received. Good. When you time your attacks perfectly, you can action RPG. all enemies at once. What? That's actually pretty cool. Every successful action command will fill Makes the game easier screen. though. When it's full, you can unleash the three character triple move. Triple move. Depending on your current party, Whoa. the move will change. So experiment with different combos. During Booster. your adventure, you'll encounter bosses with colorful personalities. After clearing the game, you can fight some of them again. But these powered up bosses aren't gonna be easy. Cool. 9,999 to everybody. Nice. Challenge modes. Set Shiny stone. Oh, oh, is that the cooling Super store? RPG I... launches on the Nintendo Switch system November 6th. Oh, <laughs> that's the most exciting thing. I really wanted that to be back. Post game content stuff. Early next year. Next, please take a look at this. Mario Wonder stuff? Wait a second. One day, a Sunshine. Toad presented a flyer advertising a show at the Sparkle Theater. Okay. Okay. Princess Peach New. and some toads went to go see it. But then... The wicked grape Wait, isn't that from, like, Balan? ...made their grand entrance Nerland? and took center stage. Or something? Now, it's up to Peach and the theater's guardian Stella to save the play and the day. This perfect performance has become a terrible tragedy. Oh, this is the Peach themed get theme game they announced. Luckily, Peach can use the power of Stella's ribbon to face off against the Sour Bunch. This looks cool as... really cool. <laughs> The ribbon alone won't always cut it, though. So let's do this. It's like 3D, 2D, 2D platformer with some 3D gameplay. Whoa! Peach transformed into Sword Fighter. Peach. She transformed into Marth Peach. By transforming, she can use fantastic show-stopping abilities. Fend off the Sour Bunch with sensational swordplay. As soon as I saw the pants, I'm like, what? Is that Marth? Peach saved this performance and its performers? <laughs> there are more stolen shows to save. Valuable artifacts from this museum have gone missing. Become Detective Peach. Okay. Investigate clues and track down who done it. Who done it? Desserts have been snatched from this sweets festival. Turn into Patissier Peach and save it from a sugar crash. The Sour Bunch got their hands on this martial arts school. Become Kung Fu Peach and take it back from these foul fiends. Ugh. Kung Fu Peach. <laughs> okay. Like, Many what even is this game? transformations are just behind the curtain. The stage is set. Our leading lady is ready for the spotlight. I feel like there's such a different control scheme for every outfit, Princess or there Peach could be. Showtime makes its debut on Nintendo Switch March 22nd. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. That was a new look at Princess Peach Showtime. In Peach's latest adventure, the gameplay changes depending on her transformations. It looks like there are more transformations beyond the ones we showed gameplay today. Gameplay changes so please stay tuned. between transformations. Let's continue with some more headlines. Makes sense. This detective's got a second bolt of brilliance. Every great detective starts their day early. First one of these games were on DS, right? Lime City, a place where humans and Pokemon coexist. The detective or, uh, duo 3DS. Pikachu and his partner Tim investigate various cases while searching for Harry, Tim's missing father. This game's a real toot. Oh man, this game is 
funny. I've seen people playing it on Steam on Twitch. Steam version. Play the notes in time with the music as best you can. I doubt all the same music would but make it though. That horn is up to you. You can use gyro controls <laughs> to adjust the pitch up <laughs> and down. <laughs> Or the IR motion camera on the right Joy-Con controller. The controls are pretty unique, and mastering every control scheme won't be a walk in the park. That's Hump your funny. Way nearly... Battle your way to victory in these Nintendo Switch games. Ten teams of three will duke it out for survival in this online battle royale brawler. Knock your opponent's health down to zero and deliver a finishing blow, or shove them off the collapsing Oh, that this looks identical to DKO knockout. Work with your allies to be the last team standing. Also, just Battle is. is free to play. Wait, what the heck? For consoles on Nintendo Switch next spring. Just copying. Um, will be available this October. DK. This reimagining of the beloved NES classic, Contra. Blast through explosive stages. Run and gun. Devastating arsenal of weapons. The like Cuphead. The Red Falcon forces. Cuphead is like these games. Action with easy pick up and play controls. And the run and gun stages, at least. Options. Oh, fire emblem. May take days months or even years but i shall see the duties of my bloodline fulfilled atlas and vanillaware present the rebirth of tactical fantasy rpgs unicorn overlord the rebirth available march 8th 2024 as if it ha that genre had left New moon? <laughs> Luigi's Mansion 2 HD. Welcome to Evershade Valley, a place that's screaming and teeming with the supernatural. Luigi, our faint of heart hero, was sent here to check it out. Time for some mansion mayhem. No spooky adventure is complete without this vacuum-like device, the Poltergust. Use it to light up dark areas, vacuum up objects, and interact with the environment. It's a handy tool for your paranormal escapades. It's actually interesting because I never Plus, played the second when one. You spot a ghost, Play the first one a lot. You can stun them with the strobe. And I beat the third one twice up. too, actually. You can even grab multiple ghosts at once. In this game, you'll find ghosts haunting, a former plant research lab, a broken down clock factory that's full of sand, a mine covered in ice and snow, and even more places. Cool. These troublemakers will use every trick in the book to block your path. Can Luigi summon his courage and save the day? Looking for other ghost hunters? Up to four players online can do some exercise across different multiplayer modes. Luigi's Mansion 2 HD creeps onto Nintendo Switch next summer. How was that? Next, we have two announcements to share. First, please take a look at this video. Mario is something, obviously. Question. It's a large question block. Actually, this question block currently appears on the roof of the previously announced Nintendo Gallery that's under construction in Uji City, Kyoto Prefecture. <laughs> the official name of this gallery will be the Nintendo Museum. Cool. 
No way. At the Nintendo Museum, Wanna visit. a wide variety of Nintendo products from the company's history will be displayed. Construction is going well, and we plan to finish up by March 2024. <laughs> We'll share more information, such as the opening date, at another time. Go to the Nintendo Please Museum and Nintendo Land to visit Next, Japan. We'd like to share some updates on upcoming amiibo figures. The Zelda and Ganon that looks amiibo great. figures are releasing on November 3rd. Save the date! And amiibo figures of Noah and Mio from the Xenoblade Chronicles 3 game will be released as a set on January 19th, 2024. And finally, we have a new amiibo figure to announce. Smash? <laughs> Sora? Sora from Kingdom Yay! <laughs> on the way. When? With the of Sora, everyone is here from Super Smash Brothers Ultimate in amiibo form. Please look forward to its release. 2024. Kingdom Hearts 1. That's all for today's amiibo announcements. Next, please take a look at this. F Zero, a new F Zero game, or like are, are bringing bringing it back? The first F Zero game returns as a 99 player battle royale. Oh, that's cool! I'm down. Oh. Race on classic F Zero courses with machines from the original Super NES game. In HD, kinda. Yeah. Races, but be careful. Your power meter will decrease if Whoa. you crash into pilots or guardrails. If it hits zero, you're out. You'll need to avoid collisions and conserve your power meter to stay in the race. Feeling risky? Spend some of your power meter for a temporary speed boost. You can also collect super sparks, which appear when machines collide, to boost up to a special path called the Skyway. It's your best chance at bypassing your rivals. I'm gonna play this. Jumping into a higher position. Complete goals while you're racing to unlock cosmetic options for your machine. I like the Nintendo Battle Royals. <laughs> I loved Mario 35. Man, that was so good. This is probably gonna be a temporary game too. 99 players, one winner. It's time to race your way to first place. Because F-099 will be available exclusively for active Nintendo Switch Online members later today. Later today. Stream-worthy. More than 30 years after its original release, F-0 is back as a Battle Royale game. This title also supports the Super NES controller available exclusively for Nintendo Switch Online members. We hope you will give it a try and aim for first place. Okay, let's continue with some more headlines. Trip with these chumps doesn't feel like a prize. Mm. Hold a form. Copy the form shown, then perform the correct action as quick as you can. Hand model. <laughs> The micro games will come one after another. Posing. These Wario games have always been underrated. Micro games and multiplayer modes are plenty. Everyone's in for a wacky time. They're actually a lot of fun. Wario Move It launches on the Nintendo Switch system November 3rd. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. Get back into the groove. In this sequel to War Groove, charge across three tactical campaigns with valiant factions, including a new mouse folk faction, the Fari. Never beat the first War Groove, but it is a good game. Charge your commander's groove to unleash devastating attacks. Lead a dive and catch fish by day, then serve them as sushi by night in the aquatic <laughs> adventure, Dave the Diver. Use the fish you've caught to concoct recipes and create the day's menu. Then tend to the clamoring customers at your sushi restaurant. Explore an ever-changing underwater world. This is a Metroidvania. ingredients and strive to exceed culinary expectations. I like it. 
Dave the Diver launches first for consoles on the Nintendo Switch system October 26th. Pre-orders and a free demo swim onto Nintendo eShop later today. Oh, cool. Dave the Diver the final demo wave today. Is racing in. Ooh, Here's a sneak peek at Wave 6, the final wave of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass DLC. From the Mario Kart Wii game, Daisy Circuit. More returning characters are also being added in Wave 6. Cool. From the Mario Kart Double Dash game, Finally! Kong. From Mario Kart Wii, Funky Kong. There's gotta be a DK stage. From the Mario Kart Tour game, Pauline. From New Donk City. They're working their way up to it. And also, there already has one stage, DK stage in there. Pichette. Wave oh, tour. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass DLC for the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe game drives onto Nintendo Switch this holiday. Regardless, that's a lot of cool DK characters. Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack members can enjoy this DLC at no additional cost. The DLC can also be purchased on its own. Something new is among us. Fungus. Fungus Among Us. It's gotta be a final announcement. I'm stoked for more RPG, Mario Wonder, Mario Kart 8 Booster Course um, pack. Um, Mario vs Donkey Kong I'll play. F099. Luigi Mansion 2 I'll play too. We hope you're looking forward to these upcoming titles. Maybe Dave the Diver. This next video Maybe. will be our last announcement. Please take a look. Let's see it. Let's see it. More Mario. Wait, I know this already. I know this. What is this? Paper Mario? Paper Mario? A new paper? No, it's the first one. No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh no way! Rogue Fort. Oh my gosh! Gumbella! Wait, that was near door? <laughs> oh my gosh! No way! This is what everybody wants! They just want another thousand year door. <laughs> and so we're getting it. The same game. But HD. It's actually so good though. It definitely holds up. The Great Gonzalez. Oh, this is exciting. Boom, boom. My brother used to do this, I showed my brother this game, my little brother, and he used to do this uh, Danger Mario thing where uh, he never adds any HP to his level ups, and he just puts a bunch of danger badges on him, so when he's in danger, he uh, <clears throat> does more damage. He ends up doing like 40 plus damage every jump and only having 5 HP. And he killed Bone Tail at the bottom of the, uh, the uh, 100 pit challenge, or... Whatchamacallit? Oh, it's been a while. Little Lynx! And Twilight Town. Oh my gosh. The train. This game is so good. Rock. Ha. Huh. So cool. Just straight up the thousand year door. The peach segments. They're good too. <laughs> 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 
That's awesome. Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, originally released on Nintendo GameCube, will return with enhanced graphics. Whether you played the original or have yet to play it, we hope you'll look forward to experiencing this adventure in a paper world starring Mario and friends. That's so good. Nintendo Direct. We've got 64 on N64 uh, online anyways, so people who haven't played them can play that first. <clears throat> but you don't need to. That's Your Door is amazing. That's exciting. Yeah, thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button. <laughs> Alright, take care.